talking about today is the um, the new Stellar Foundation by Monica Dole. Um, well, it's relatively new. It's not like new, new. I think it's probably about maybe, I want to say, in somewhere between nine months and a year old. Um, <clears throat> and if you don't know who Monica Dole is, she used to be an MTV VJ in Canada. Um, and I think she's also a model, but she is of South Asian descent. So a lot of these foundations um, have a peachy undertone. So the line does have 22 shades and the undertones are interesting because they're not the undertones that you normally see in uh, foundation ranges. Usually foundation ranges have undertones that are, you know, um, yellow or neutral or some kind of red based undertone. Um, this this range um, has a lot of peachy undertones, some yellow, mostly peachy, golden, and there are a couple that are olive as well. But the thing that's really interesting about especially the olive shades is that the olive shades are in the darkest um, in the darkest colors. Um, the shade that I got S19 is kind of interesting because I actually got matched on Instagram by the company. First saw it debut on Sephora. And I saw the, I read the undertones, I was like, I was geeked, so I really wanted to try the foundation. So I was looking through all of the, um, all of the, the colors on the Sephora website, and I really couldn't decide which shade to get because, you know, for whatever reason, in different ranges, like, I think I'm dark, but a lot of people don't think I'm dark. Um, and then there are some people that think I'm dark, so it, it can get kind of dicey like when I'm searching for foundations and stuff because in some ranges I can be um, a medium dark and then in other ranges I can be a dark or a deep. So it, it's really kind of subjective to the brand. Um, so when I saw the foundations, the one foundation that I kind of zeroed in on um, was S19, which is the one that I picked up here, but I also didn't know if that was like an accurate description because S19 is described as a medium dark with peach undertones. So I looked at it and I was like, man, I don't know if I want to get that. So what I did was I contacted the company on Instagram and I was like, hey, um, can you guys help me, you know, match my complexion to one of your foundation shades? And the person who answered, they were like, sure, let you know, if you want, you can send us a picture or we'll take a look at your Instagram page and see what we can match you to. So I sent them a picture, but they also took a look at my Instagram page and then they came back to me about two days later and they were like, yeah, you should try S19. That seems like a perfect match for you. So, so I like said, I said, oh. I got um, S19, which is um, described as a medium deep with uh, peach undertones. Um, and there are three other shades after S19. So let me read a little bit about the claims that this foundation makes. Um, it is supposed to be full, full to me or medium to full coverage um, for normal to combination skin, which is good because I have combination skin, uh, which gets oily very quickly. Um, and it's supposed to be a radiant finish. It says a highly pigmented medium coverage foundation that provides buildable full coverage where needed. A limitless foundation delivers to all skin tones. And its shade range focuses on medium skin tones with extensive shades based on undertones. Incredibly lightweight, it provides natural looking all day wear and a radiant finish. It's buildable, blendable, oil free formula, smooths on like a second skin, concealing discoloration and hyperpigmentation for a professionally retouched look. So, like I said, like if looking at uh, all of these foundations, um, it is clear that a lot of the shades are the exact same shades, they just have. Uh, different undertones. So not going to color correct because when I first try out a foundation I don't color correct because I want to see how well it covers without any help. Um, so like I said I got S19 and this freaking the bottle looks like this. This is what the foundation looks like. Um, actually this is not what the foundation looks like. This is like a super hyper um, frosted bottle and I haven't tried the foundation yet, but I did take it out of the box yesterday when I got it, and I was just like, what the hell is this? And um, like I said, didn't try it, but I did unscrew the cap and look at the foundation inside, and it really doesn't look anything like this. 
So, this is what the foundation looks like. Fingers crossed that it's the right color too. So that's what it looks like. It look, it looks, I don't know why it's showing up that light on camera, but really it's not that light. It's um, kind of runny. We shall see. And I'm just going to use my favorite uh, foundation brush, which is my BH Cosmetics foundation brush. And we're just going to go in and it is looking a little bit light. And uh, it is not too light. So far, I'm not really seeing um, a whole heck of a lot of coverage. It is, and even though I don't, I don't wear full coverage, it is um, a very light coverage from what I can see so far. Okay guys, so this is one layer um, of the foundation. Um, I don't, it is very, it is very light coverage. I don't see how this foundation would actually get to full coverage. Um, that would be kind of, of a miracle, a little bit of a miracle. I'm just going to go in with uh, one more pump um, and try to build up the coverage somewhat. Or at least see if I can. Okay guys, so this is what two layers looks like and um, it is very radiant. I don't know what to do with that. Um, the it's not full coverage. It is definitely not full coverage. Um, and it is not buildable to full coverage. More of a um, medium coverage. Um, and it is very, uh, it's very radiant, which is not really my thing. But we're just going to go with it and see what happens. So it's been a couple of minutes and the um, dewiness of the foundation, the radiance of the foundation has... Uh, settled a little bit so now it's more of a radiant matte um, which I can deal with which is you know that's I'm, I'm more I'm more of a fan of a radiant matte than a dewy matte a dewy radiance so this is good for me I am going to set my face with uh, one of their cosmic luster powders I actually got the uh, trio which was a holiday exclusive it's still available um, the trio is I believe it's twenty six dollars um, two that are in here are part of the regular line. I think, um, no, Aurora and Twilight are part of the regular line and Aurora is a warm beige and Twilight is supposed to be a, let's see, Twilight is supposed to be a golden. I'm not sure what Celeste is because it was only available for the holidays and I didn't get it and it's no longer on the site so I can't really um, say what it is but uh, this is what the package looks like the three little jars which is fine because I have so much finishing powder already so but um, this is Twilight which is supposed to be a golden shade this is Aura which you can't really see it from there but maybe from the back um, is a warm beige and Celeste which is clearly a very peachy shade so this is the one that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of skeptical of this powder because I, I took the um, protective covering off and it looks super shiny but uh, let me just see if I can get some out so you guys can better see it. It looks, um, it is a, it's a luster, but it, it looks super shiny and I am, pray for me. <clears throat> Let's go in. Okay, so it's not terrible. It is getting into my hairline, which is not cute at all. <gasps> no. All right, so it's not a terrible powder. It's not terrible, but personally, I don't I don't really care for it. Um 
anyway, so uh, this is supposed to be a long wear foundation. It doesn't make any claims for hours or anything like that, but um, we shall see because I do have a bunch of errands to run today. Um, so I will be out for most of the day. I have packages to drop off places um, and I am also going to the gym. So <laughs> we'll see how this, um, we'll see how this holds up. It is now 12.04, 12.04. Um, I will ba be back later on to let you know how this foundation and the setting powder held up. So I will see you later. Guys, I'm back. Um, it is a quarter to ten right now. Um, I'm in different clothes. My hair is up because I went to the gym and it turned into a poof ball. So nothing to do at that point but throw that shit up in a bun and call it a day. However, I am back to give you a round out of the foundation. And as you can see from my face, it's gone. It's just gone. Um, it did uh, stay... Um, after the gym, though, it didn't start fading uh, until, because I went to the gym, I left here uh, a little bit after 12, I believe, 12.05 or something like that, and I went and did some errands. I got to the gym probably, I want to say, about 3, somewhere between 2.30 and 3 o'clock, and um, worked out, uh, took a shower at the gym left and it was still it was still doing decently well um but then i want to say about an hour after that it just kind of started breaking down and literally like i didn't i didn't get oily or anything it just started to fade like it just started to go away so this is not a long wearing foundation and uh it might have something to do with the primer um it might just have something to do with my skin because I'm, I have a lot of texture happening on my skin right now. I'm not really sure why that is, um, but yeah, it might have something to do with that. When when my skin is having textural issues, uh, products seem to break down a little bit faster on my skin, so that might have something to do with it. But I still, I've never had a foundation break down that fast on me. It's It was only about four hours, um, like I said before, it really started to really break down and probably at like I want to say the five and, and a half hour mark it was pretty much Build gone well um, I don't know if you could see on when I was putting it on but after when I was putting it on it looked fine but then when I left and I went downstairs and um, I checked in the bathroom mirror downstairs it had kind of a whitish cast to it like I don't know what that was it might have something to do with the primer as well because when I did put the primer on I noticed that my face got a little bit um, of a whitish cast from the primer so that might have something to do with it but also I felt like with the first layer that I put on even though it didn't cover everything it looked a lot more natural um, and then when I put that second layer on it started to look not very natural and kind of made up for lack of a better word um, and then when I went downstairs it kind of looked a little bit white about half an hour of running around it kind of settled back into looking normal. This foundation again. is not a fave. I don't... I'm gonna give it a couple of other tries. Like I said when I test out foundations I usually do it with um, for a couple of days at least a week using different primers and different setting powders. Speaking of setting powders, not a fan of that setting powder that I tried. It was very brassy. And Aura Celeste, the one that I used today, and Twilight. And I think I should have probably used Twilight today instead of uh, Celeste. They're all kind of shiny um, and I'm not really a fan like yeah they're okay setting powders uh, probably wind up using them again but they won't be something that I reach for all the time but yeah the foundation powders not really a fan of this stellar line I want it to be though I really really want it to be but so far I'm not but I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to keep trying a foundation for about another week. See how it works out. And if it doesn't, you know, keep go back to Sephora. As usual, I hope that I was able to help you make a decision one way or the other in regards to choosing a product from this line or whether or not you even want to try anything from this line. 
It's been great. It's been fun. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.